Hello, welcome, and thank you so much for clicking on my video and tuning in. Uh, my name is Rabbit, my pronouns are they, them, and today um, I wanted to make a video where basically I just do like a lookbook um, of like some styles. This one is going to be kind of like gothy, punky, grungy, e-girl style. <laughs> and um, I'll probably do some like other styles like cottage core and stuff like that. But uh, without further ado, I'm just going to show off these outfits that I've put together. Um, hopefully it can inspire some of you guys to do some similar stuff. All of my, or not all, but almost all of my pieces are thrifted and I highly recommend um, people go to their thrift stores to find cool pieces. So um, I'll start with this outfit. So starting with the jewelry, I have like these ceramic bat earrings that I found at the thrift store and a sword and a heart earring the heart earrings from my grandma and this was from a store in vancouver vancouver that was 99 cents i got this choker off wish and i have these necklaces this one i got at an artisan market and this one i just made from a lock that my dad gave me i'm wearing um, a white long striped t-shirt from the thrift store and like a ouija board t-shirt that i found at the thrift store this is a red plaid skirt from the thrift store with some tights that um, I got at the Dollar Earth store around um, Halloween time. So I'll just back up and show the whole outfit. Rock Martins with my like cherry uh, shoelaces on. So that's the first look. Um, I guess I'll get on to the next one. So the next look is kind of like a silky wizard shirt with um, my cat's collar that she won't wear, so I'm wearing it. Um, these moon earrings from the thrift store, super cool. Um, got a moon necklace, a little like crystal, like universe necklace from the thrift store that's super cool. This Aquarius necklace is from my grandma. Um, wearing like a velvet dress and like a little black like bralette underneath this vintage uh, silk pajama shirt with like a night sky pattern. And honestly, you guys, I see these all the time when I go to the thrift store. So like people always ask me like, where'd you get that? And I'm like, dude, go to your thrift store. You will find them. So that's that. I'm also wearing a petticoat underneath that I got in the children's section of the thrift store because it helps like give volume to the skirt. So for my socks and shoes, I have like a mismatched pair of Van Gogh socks with my goth boots on. Um, so one of these socks, this face on it, I actually found at uh, the thrift store and I purchased. And this one I found in the university laundry room um, and it was left there for like a month. So I was like, this is fair game. Um, I also have like a starry thrifted um, belt on, which is super fun. And I'll just give like a little look of the full outfit real quick. Um, and I guess I'll just move on to the next outfit. So this next look has a mesh shirt that I got when I used to volunteer at a thrift store um, back where I went to university. Um, a little like over top bra thing that I just like opened so I can wear it as like a vest. I've got little bat earrings and an earring I made out of a spoon from the thrift store I worked at that I found. Got this like cool like zipper, safety pin, necklace necklace of a little lady riding the moon she's super cool um lock kind of some like random pearly things uh this dress is from my best friend one of my best friends marley from school it's like black and gray striped it's super fun i tied it with this um jacket from my boyfriend it's his jacket but he lets me wear it and I embroidered the shoulder patches onto it. So there's one that's like a little, little bug. And this one is like a cat with an extra eye. And he's got some other embroidery and pins on it. Uh, then I've got these like plaid um, leggings from the thrift store. Some high socks with leggings with like little smaller leggings and my Doc Martens. So it's a very like monochromatic, but like layered look very good for like the colder months i live in canada where it's very cold so can't really wear this now but we'll definitely be wearing it in the winter so this next outfit is pretty cutesy i think but it's got like um, little heart-shaped silver earrings a spiky collar 
I have a silver locket from the thrift store and a heart-shaped necklace with my cat's names on it, Lemon and Tuna. I've got two cat-themed pins on my collar. One's like a Ouija uh, planchette cat. The other's like a little angel cat. Then I have like a velvet skirt that I found, or a velvet dress that I found in the children's section of the thrift store. And since it was in the children's section, it was too small for me, so I had to cut open the sleeves. And I also added lace to the bottom to make it a little longer. I have it with a thrifted belt I found and some little um, garters from Wish that have hearts on them. Um, I also have these ripped fishnets. I ripped them myself. Some stripey pink socks and these like black Mary Jane, not Mary Jane, kind of platform shoes. Like I said, since I live in a cold climate, um, I usually tend to wear like sweaters and stuff. Um, so I have this one that is just like a black sweater that I found in the men's section of the thrift store, but I added a printed patch on it that I just like used some printing paper. Um, some felted patches that I made myself there of no face on the elbows. I just made them out of felt and this wolf patch that I got in Vancouver. I'm really sorry about the light, you guys. So, because I just think that it's so cute when you have, um, like big sweaters like this where the collar pops out. So this dress has the collar sewn in. If you don't have that, you can totally just layer a collared shirt or what I do is I actually cut, um, like I buy a collared shirt and then I cut it off like here so I can wear it under clothes without like getting too hot or having it like be too bulky. So that's what that looks like. So this is my next outfit. So I've got a fishnet shirt that I just made out of a pair of fishnet tights by like cutting uh, the, hand, the feet off and the crotch off um, or out. I have this chain and key choker that I just made by attaching like chain and key and whatever to a ribbon. I've got some skeleton hand earrings that I found at the, the grocery store on Halloween and like a bear earring because wearing this shirt that features my cats this is lemon and this is tuna um it just says be kind and i got it printed at like a kind of local like t-shirt printing store because i just love them and i think they're so special um i've got this flannel from the thrift store with my crust pants i guess you would call them um they're just like black jeans that i made a bunch of patches and sewed them on with embroidery thread when i was like 16. Um, they're still pretty cool. I've like updated them a couple times, but not really. But they still hold up, and I think they're cool. Got my gothy boots on. They're demonias. And then I've also got these like kind of chain or metal harness leg things. I think they're super cool and very like punk rock. I got them on Wish. So that's super fun, and that's this outfit. Um, Lemon, you want to come say hi? This is Lemon. He's an angel baby. So this next look is just supposed to be like kind of witchy and fun. I have these um, goat horns that I got at the thrift store and I never get to wear them so whatever, might as well. Um, I have these snake earrings that I found at the thrift store. Um, little crow necklace and um this is like a sheer top that i found at the thrift store this is a bag that i found at a halloween store when it was halloween i have a corset that i just stitched a bunch of patches onto from like plaid skirts and pajamas and things i've got this plaid skirt that i've embroidered this patch from hot topic onto and one rip tight and one like stripey tight from the thrift store with the boots. So this is the look all together. That's all I got for today. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and watching my video all the way through. That really like means the world to me. And just a reminder that clothes don't have any gender or size like requirements or any age limit so just please wear what you want and feel comfortable and experiment as much as you want because life's really short and I encourage you and 
I love you lots. So bye for now.